NASA began its latest mission to Mars this morning, launching an unmanned rover like no other on an eight-and-a-half-month, 354-million-mile journey to the Red Planet. As Lee Cowan reports from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, getting to Mars is only half the problem. And lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. With this morning's launch, NASA's $2.5 billion rover, aptly named Curiosity, began its 354 million mile journey to Mars. And so far, it's right on target. Everything is looking good. The vehicle is the Cadillac of Mars rovers. It weighs almost a ton and is powered by a nuclear reactor. In fact, NASA hasn't tried landing something this large and this complex since the lunar modules that put men on the moon. And as exciting as today's launch was, the reality. Mars really is the Bermuda Triangle of the solar system. The landing has NASA nerves, especially its chief engineer, Rob Manning. This maiden flight is actually the flight it must work. There, is, there are no uh, dress rehearsals. It has to work the first time. Curiosity is too heavy to bounce to the surface inside a series of balloons like the previous Mars rovers. Instead, Curiosity will have to be lowered the last 200 feet on cables suspended from a rocket-propelled sky crane high above. This is going to be the landing gear, too, right? This is also the landing gear, exactly right. But it's a complex and risky maneuver, says CBS status. News space consultant Bill Harwood. Watch. And your first blush is, is, what were they smoking when they came up with this? Uh, but it turns out it's an elegant answer to a very difficult problem. Past rovers found evidence of water on Mars. Curiosity will take the next step, looking for chemical indicators in rocks to see if conditions were ever favorable to actually support life. Those who built Curiosity made it sturdy. It's supposed to toil away for two years. But if it's anything like its smaller cousins, Curiosity may remain curious for a lot longer than that. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Pasadena.